Well, my final race on day one should be an absolute cracker. It's the Queen of the Champion Chase. And we've got a big field for this. Two more championship race, of course. And obviously it's grade one. At the top, we've got Artful Dodger. Oh, Graham Crutzbuck, who came close in the last race. Carried off need, David Robertson. Crisp, David Hooley. Domes of Solitude, Darren Thompson. Game on, David Hooley. Invader, Derek Hinton. Jazz Midget, David Robertson. Magic Mirror, Martin Leadham. The Mighty Mouse, Joshua Sutherland. Call Me Angel, Padre Hogan. Duchess Galacticus, Paul Rhodes. Fuente Manette for Darren Thompson. Last Hurrah, Leon Van Rensburg. Lehu Mossa for Derek Hinton. Red Raffle, Stu Gray. And the sure thing... For Joshua Sullivan, so 16 in this then. Good big field. There won't be much hanging about in this. I can tell you, two mile up, the speedsters. I expect some thrills and spills, and away we go. Domes of Solitude and Crisp are both quickly out away, and they get over the first, which they all got over nicely. And uh, it's Jazz Midget that's come through to take it up. So short run of the second. Oh, and Jazz Midget nearly went then. He got, got a bit of a leap at it and got away with it. And the field are all on their feet as they head up the straight past the stand and come into fence number three. There's Jazz Midget having regained the lead. And Crisp in second. All safely over that one. And in third is Duchess Galacticus. This one will be the last on the next circuit. And they're all safely over it with Lehu Mossa. Now the back marker. So Jazz Midget then will lead them out for their final circuit of the course. Uh, Jazz Midget in front from his stablemate. Carried off needing second, both for David Roberts. And then Domes of Solitude is next as they take the fence away from the stand. And they're all safely over that with Red Raffle. Just the back marker, but they're not going as quickly as I thought they might. And Jazz Midget's got an uncontested lead of about four lengths to the Mighty Mouse in second there. Carried off Need is third, then Domes of Solitude is fourth, and then Crisp is next as they take the sixth. And the Magic Mirror nearly went to the back there, really hit that one hard, and has now been relegated to last as they head towards the water jump with Jazz Midget still the clear leader. Game on in second, Call Me Angel third, and then Crisp fourth. With Domes of Solitude and Carry Duff Need, then Invader, a sure thing. Mighty Mouse and Galacticus after that. They're coming out of this ditch. The Eagle was a little bit slow over it that time. And Call Me Angel has moved into second. They head towards a plain fence next. And the leader jumped that one really well this time. Got over it nicely and extended the lead to probably five lengths now. The sure thing on the outside is second. Crisp on the inside is third. Between them, the Mighty Mouse and Call Me Angel. And then Domes of Solitude and Duchess Galacticus as they head towards the fourth home, the final ditch. And they're all safely over that one as well with Jazz Midget clearing the lead. No fallers as yet. And it's ditched. The leader is Jazz Midget from Domes of Solitude. The Mighty Mouse, the sure thing. Call Me Angel. Then Crisp. Then comes Duchess Galacticus. Red Raffle has come through from nowhere. The last who Ra is tailing off, which is something of a surprise, but it's Jazz Midget coming down to the final three fences and still in the lead, been in the lead all the way. He's got a two length advantage over the Mighty Mouse and the sure thing. Over it they go. Really good jump by the Mighty Mouse. Has seen that one go up to challenge for the lead. Duchess Galacticus is calling a run on the outside. Domes of Solitude is still there. Last hurrah has been pulled up, but it's Jazz Midget. Two to jump. Jazz Midget trying to make it a pillar to post win for David Robertson, Jazz Midget's in the lead from on the outside, Duchess Galacticus who's throwing down a big challenge, Crisp is back in it as well now, the Joshua Sutherland pair just beginning to lose their place as they come down towards the final two, it's Jazz Midget in the lead in the champion chase over it in the lead, from in second place Domes of Solitude, then comes the sure thing who's running on again, Fuente Manette from nowhere over the last they go, and it's the Domes of Solitude that takes it up, Domes of Solitude but on the inside, it's the sure thing the Domes of Solitude, Domes of Solitude, it's two more Darren Thompson, horses he's racing up towards the line and it's going to be Domes of Solitude who's going to take the Queen of the Champion Chase. Domes of Solitude takes it from Fuente Manette in second. A short thing third. Crisp is after that one. All the way back to Invader. And what a day Darren Thompson is having on the first day of the festival as he takes first and second. But there's a stewards inquiry, so hold on to your hats. And it's been thrown out. Oh, there's the first bit of drama of the day. Domes of Solitude 
Well, Darren Thompson has been disqualified and the race has been awarded to Fuente Manette, which is Darren Thompson's as well. So possibly he won't be quite as cross as he would have been if he hadn't have been second as well. So drama then for my final race of the day. Fuente Manette for Darren Thompson is the winner. The sure thing for Joshua Sutherland was second. Chris for David Hoody third. The Mighty Mouse, Joshua Sutherland fourth. And game on for David Hooley was fifth.